Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguy 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we gave the beat down to a measle again, and that pretty girl ran off complaining that this was a terrible dream. Let's give chase. We need to get her to deal with the deal. I don't even know. <laughs> Let us proceed. Map 5, Plan of the Wicked. Hmm. So you finally decided to fight your own battles. Yup. Now that I think about it, it's my dream. Therefore, there's no way I'm gonna lose. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is my dream. As long as I keep that in mind, there's nothing I can't do. Where's all this coming from? I can sense her power increasing. Power? It's much stronger than a Prinny's. How is this possible? <laughs> that lass, by believing that everything that's happened around her is a dream, has released her full potential. Here's an explanation. Humans are said to only be able to utilize about 30% of their full potential. That's because using 100% of their power would apply too much of a physical burden on their body and would lead to self-destruction. However, this girl was able to release her full power due to her delusional belief that everything is part of a dream, including her own existence. Some people call it a girl's fantasy, which can prove more troublesome than any <laughs> Please, be cautious. This lass is an idiot, but she has <clears throat> power comparable to us demons. Is it spiral energy? Aha! That is impressive. Yes, I agree. However, now is not the time to be awestruck. Quite a bit of danger? I've had enough of this chaotic dream! I want a dream that's sweet and lovely, like marshmallows! Boba is actually quite the delicious drink, especially if you flavor it with peach or banana or something. Wait, what? <laughs> Why did you just say? I don't mind a shameless bluesy who freely shouts such embarrassing things. Though I'm going to have to wake you up and engrave the truth into your tiny brain over and over until you accept reality. Nah, let's give her a happy dream. Also, this music, this music is a thing. I shall re-educate you! So, uh, meet the Heavy Knight, by the way. They have high H they have extremely high HP, pretty high defense, uh, not quite so high res, but they take less even less damage from the front than normal. They're, they like spears, and they can throw really far. Here I come! I'm gonna do it! Here I go! That being said... No, we can't kill her. This is what we are going to do. We are just going to humor her and TPK again. Of course, nobody actually got wiped out by that attack because of my win.
What? Oh, it's a warp panel. As for this girl, her name is Fuka. Her ability is Dream Girl. Take half damage from special attacks. That's a pretty great ability to have, really. She likes swords and axes. <laughs> Got a fire elemental with unique attack. Hmm. She's also got pretty high HP, all things considered. I'm just gonna let them beat us up. I want that trigger though. This is the animation for Megafire. Pretty long when everybody's doing it. Fighter leveled up. You know, actually, there was probably a better plan than this. Uh, let's get everybody back into the base panel. Everyone back in the base panel. Let's go, 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 go! Yeah. Uh, Rutila's stranded. <laughs> She's stranded on the opposite side of the base. This is Fenric for that matter. Okay, let's get this Orangi into the base panel, apparently. Base panel has been destroyed. <laughs> he fell asleep. Dang it, Zipini. What now? This is my dream. There's nothing I can't do. Fuka Kazamatsuri. That's her name, apparently. Believe I let this last defeat me. Don't get your panties in a bunch. You're in my dream, after all. You were bound to lose. Being comforted by an idiot. How degrading. Now, now, I'm gonna continue exterminating Prinnies so that I can start living the good life here in Hades. Wait a second. This 
This is my dream. I can just turn Hades into Celestia if I want to. Turn Hades into Celestia? Don't be ridiculous. I'm not being ridiculous. I'm dead serious. Hilarious in hindsight. It's even worse. Anybody who's played this guy at D2, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you bet there is Japanese fan art of that somewhere on the internet. It, there's just gotta be. Anyway, we're gonna start by planting flower pastures all over the netherworld. This place is just gross. More Disgaea D2 foreshadowing. I'm gonna turn all the buildings here into dessert shops. This place is gonna be so pretty. And then someday, charming prince will come and take me away. Where to even begin? I suppose it's perfect in that sense. See, I know. Of course, it's perfect. We're in my dream. Now let's begin. Sentai Netherworld Project. Aim for bittersweet loveliness. More a funky prince. This is just the beginning of the Netherworld Celestia Reformation Project. Fuka's so-called NCRP movement was soon put into motion. And the netherworld was eventually filled with beautiful flowers, sweet desserts, and glamorous demons. Of course, the corruptorment immediately began to crack down on such activities. However, the power of Fuka's delusions was unstoppable. She countered every assassin that the corruptorment sent her way, and continued to propagate the NCRP. As a result, what awaited in the near future of the netherworld? was not a charming place, but rather total destruction. Although no warning ever reached Fuka, he continued to strongly believe she was just in a dream. <laughs> Good times. Alright, we're not gonna actually hear the lyrics to this song, and we've already seen the credits, so, uh, skippity skip skip. Since this scene again. <clears throat> and we are just going to have to slog back to the end of chapter two, as always. <laughs> Good times. First, let's check out these treasure chests. There's gotta be something cool in one of these. Even though it's only chapter one again. Yeah, okay. And in between chapters, I'm probably gonna pass the next uh, more expensive stuff bill and uh, upgrade everybody's gear. Okay? That's the plan. See you all next time. Bye bye <laughs>